and welcome to the second race of the Nash of Season 2 of the Nash Car Rockets of Cup Series bringing to you at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the full of the trip trip 500 here. Last week we were at Daytona International Speedway for the Daytona 500 in the Kurt Busch and a shot and a shocker won it over William Byer on the in under caution on the last lap. Um, it is still controversial of what, why the caution did was thrown at that time, but we have to get that. And it's gonna be tough for, for William Byron to get that out of mind because it was the Great American Race there. But very fortunate for that 24 card. But we have a new. We, we still have to move on, and now we're at, here at at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The guys that were up front at Daytona were are also now on the pole here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Um, Smart Church Jr. and Kevin Harvick rounds up the front row. Second row has Denny Hamlet and Kyle Busch. Third row, William Byer and Chase Elliott, teammates. Fourth row, Brad Kosowski and Clint Boyer. Fifth row, Kyle Larson and Ryan Newman. Sixth row, Daniel Flores and Alex Bowman. Seventh row has Jay McMurray and Joe Logano. Eighth row has Ricky Stiles Jr. and Brandon Gaughan. Ninth row has Ryan Blaney and Darren Rawls Jr. In the 10th row has Jimmy Johnson and Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch are the Daytona 500 winner, of course. 11th row has Eric Jones and Eric Alalola. 12th row is Austin Dillon and Paul Menard. I'm going to let you show you the rest of the lineup here. So that's last year, 80, 82 laps here in this one and a half mile oval. Um, I'm telling you right now, these, uh, I've, <laughs> I've never seen these uh, these cars reach so fast here at a mile and a half track here at Atlanta. I mean, at the beginning of the at the beginning of a run, I saw they were going up to 205 miles an hour, and with the draft up to 200 and almost up to 210 miles an hour because they had to slow down the cars just a little bit. But they're still very very fast here on the short run here. So, like I said, uh, tricks, um uh Churis is is um starts uh, up in the fourth here and um Kurt Busch is killing your points leaders of course actually tied for the points lead over Paul Menard right now thanks to the dual races by the way we have 82 laps here at Atlanta Mars let's see who's going to contain the old 1.5 mile racetrack let's go downstairs for the man find the engines Say it with me drivers start The oldest surface in, in I uh, in the horse in our in the NASCAR Microsoft Cup series. And with the newer tires they're on today, they are almost capable of. Um, they're almost capable of going full throttle for the first few laps of the race too. I do apologize for the lag here also. Uh, I do want to apologize for the lag to in in ahead of this race too. Just because of the amount of cars here on the racetrack and it's a uh, one point mile track too. But here we go. One point five mile track, eighty two laps. See who's gonna continue, who's gonna attain the oldest mile, half one and a half mile in this in our series. Pace car is in. And the second race of season two of the NASCAR Microsoft Cup series is underway. Well, here comes Hamlin with a push of William Byron in the, in the 11 and 24 car. Can Hamlin lead the lap here? Not quite, but he just by barely a little. Got Harvard back up in third now, up high. He's still going to try to fight over Dan Hamlin. Got William Byron back in fourth. Do you see Brad Kosowski there also in the fifth position? Uh, 
Line moves up way high there. He almost got a little tight there, looks like. But Trish continues to lead there, and Hall freaking hands to still continues to battle up for second. This is, a, this is a racetrack that you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere you want to. No matter where you go, you can go faster every any any groove you want to. Harvick retains second position. You got Chase Elliott now trying to move up to uh, passing his teammate. Continues trying to work for that second spot. He really wants it though. But like I said, this is an old, old surface. You do not want to worn out your tires very fast because they will worn out and you will have no tires and you will fall back. Because him like they're looking for second overall, but can you do anything about it? Got Brad Kaskowski has to do. Let's say he's gonna look under Chase Elliott there in the ninth car. Yeah. It was still not giving up though. You know he doesn't have the fastest car on the racetrack, but here comes Brad Kislowski now in a two car. So make it 3 1 for a second. And Kislowski, caution is out. I believe Kislowski will get second too. But the caution is out for the first time here today, and it's Alex Bowman in the 88 car who has wrecked, it looks like. And he stopped on the racetrack. It also looks like one, uh, Brian Blaney in the 12 car, it looks like, yep. The 12 car has damage as well, so... Looks like caution for those two cars are all in the wreck there. Alright, so back here on, on the front here. Let's see, now, I bet you everyone on this track is gonna pit here. Because this track wars your tires out so quickly that you're going to need, you're going to need tires. You will be crying for all four tires throughout the whole race. I can tell you that for right now. All right, here we go. First pit stops of the day for all our our drivers. Church leads them now on pit road here. Here they come, they're on pit road right now. Oh, it was very fast. But Church leads off pit road, Kislowski second, Larson third, but very fourth, and Brandon gone fifth. Oh, there's contact. Oh, that was close. William Byron and Lagana made contact on pit road. But unfortunately, they, they didn't spin. Look how far Harvick and Bush falls back. Wow. Let's see what happens if we have the caution between the 88 car and the 12. Start saying this. I'm trying to get to a car right now. All right, here's what happened. We have the call sheet here. It looks like we the 88 car has expired a motor in the middle of the racetrack, and it's just all panic here. Everyone's trying to avoid this oil on the racetrack. It comes on for the 43 car. And then you got Ryan Brainy and Ty Dillon making hard contact, and that ends up having the 12 car blending spins out of control. And that's what actually brought the caution and spinning out there. 
And yeah, that's pretty much what really happened there. Just a car blowing up and just a chain reaction just happening. And unfortunately, it also collected Ty Dillion and Ryan Blaney. Let's look at it once again here. I want to look at the spectators camp here. But yeah, he's going off down the racetrack and then off turn one, he just blows an engine right in the middle of the fact. Nowhere for these drivers to go here. They're just hoping he doesn't come down the road race cars and unfortunately Ty Dillon my Blake gets to get and they spin out. Now, most likely ends both of their state because they did slam the wall. I was looking to borrow the AA cars to see what what he what was look at his engine sounds here. Just expired on him. Let's look on Ryan Brain's car. Yeah, that's just what happened to him. All right, back here live at Atlanta Moore Speedway. Some interesting strategy, and now Harvick now is way back. I believe way back in the field right now, but. Um, let's look at your, your lineup right now. So, uh, leading is Shrek, second is Kosowski, third Larson, fourth McMurray, fifth Gone, sixth Hamlin, seventh uh, Dylan, Austin Dillon, eighth Chase Elliott, nine Kane, and round of top ten is uh, uh, Ryan Newman. Shrek has left all laps so far in this race. As they're all single file, ready to get the restart done. All 40 cars. 39 cars on the lead lap. And we're back in the green with Alex Will in the only car, DNF. Because Alex pulled back there a little bit, it might have helped him. Got Larson up there in third place. If Murray fourth, those two are teammates. As a three wide lead in the back here between Gon, Elliott, and Kane. With Ryan uh, Ryan Newman back there and Jimmy Johnson. Am I might hear four wide here in turn number one. Oh, there's a oh, this very close. They're remaining four wide. And there's still many contact there. But they made it though. They got they stuck at four wide. They're staying there. And they're still going. Now raining three wide now. So impressive racing out here right now. Off the restart. It goes Larson up to second now. Can he stick it over Raskowski? Looks like he will. Now can Kyle Larson catch up to Turex now? Now just a five car, a little five car breakaway now for the rest of the field now, looks like. Oh, she has a strong race car too. I think all these cars is, 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 has a strong race car. It's just, can you get past that 78 car because, because Strux is you using that preferred line there. We use this old drivers using now. It's pretty much the middle of Trix is using when the cars are side by side, but, um, he uses it, but it's going to be tough when he gets to the bottom. Here comes uh, Lasso once again on the inside of uh, Larson. Trucks your mate range race leader. Here comes Hamlin way down low. I mean way down low. He's trying to make a little aggressive move. Just can't get to the right house and bump right there. 
That's still impressive. They're still sticking with uh, Church right now. They're still sticking with Church. Kazowski cut Larson there. It looks like he can. He's tailing now on the inside of Larson right now. Looks like Church looking for his first win on the season. I, I, I. He did win winless in the in season one of the NASCAR Microsoft Cup Series, but he did make the chase and fell and. And they did get eliminated. But he's now coming back strong here in season two with the current championship now. He has the car, his team, and his crew chief to, to get it done. And Chris Hamilton inside Brad Kislowski, see if he could do anything. Trying to take third away from Larson. I mean, if you're on the inside, you, the number one thing is you, you just don't want to get loose on the on on the racetrack and where the Larson is. It's gonna be with the cars here today. It's very hard to get. It's very hard to pass the inside because he can get loose very, very easily. Uh, Stanhouse in the six and uh, uh, Stanhouse in the seventeen car is holding on in sixth place right now. As Larson and Hill continues to battle it out right now. Here comes Kislowski on Truex now. He's going to have a shot now. Here he comes the inside, here comes Brad Kislowski looking for the race lead for the first time. Just can't do it. He looked to the inside, but was he enough? Ninja didn't have that strong run, looks like. He may try again right here as well. Trish has done all 22 laps so far, all 22 laps. So try it again on the inside. Does he have this bumper there? Not quite yet, like it once again. He's trying though. As right, so meanwhile, Larson and Hemp continues to battle it out there for, for third right now. Right, Larson may get him off, off hand for third here. Here comes Brad Slussy once again. I think he got there. Not quite. He just can't do it. He's still trying. He has, he has to run, but it looks like it just keeps on stalling on him. Um, right, right after he makes the makes the move. It's just like it's gets that side draft there. It just gets. He just trucks just goes away. You know, back in the pack, back of the fact here, we got Chase Ellis now is in fifth place with Johnson in sixth. We got McMurray and Ryan Newman battling out here as well. Because let's still, still continue to try to hang on there. Second place right now. 25 laps is complete here at the line. With Church continue to lead all laps so far this race. Looking for his first win in the Microsoft Cup Series. Trix is really holding well, I can tell you that right now. 
you can catch up to Chura, but passing him is a whole different story. It's, it's pretty much what Shrex is saying here. I wonder if these guys gonna wreck, but it's only going to have no damage. But anyway, we got a battle for second now with King Larson and Kislowski. This is calling Shrex to go, move up front here, trying to pull away. You got Elliot back in the picture. Look at Kyle Bush in the 18 car. Where did he come from, I should say? <laughs> now up to the sixth position he is right now. Let's remain side by side for a second. It's like Kisowski has this. Kisowski has, still has it. Because Kyle Busher, wow, three wide. This is three wide for four. Hamlin looks like he has a strong run, but doesn't. He has to go off the dog here. There's still three wide coming off turn number two. It's between Hamlin, Kyle Bush, Chase Elliott, Jamie Johnson in the picture. as well. He's fine. He's moving up in the field as well. And look at Kyle Busch now. He is strong. I'm telling you. Now three wide for a second. He may be sticking here in the bottom to be honest. And Larson uh, and Bush has cleared Larson for a second. I bet you uh, I bet you uh, I bet you Bush has been saving up his tires. As he's quickly approaching Mark Trex Jr. now. Now single file throughout, the, throughout this pack now. Passing the lap car now, Mark of uh, um Yeah, Mark Top uh Mark Top's in there. He gets out of the way. Now look at Kyle Bush, Will Bush now. He's now looking for the race lead. And he has a strong run too. The Trex holds. Like we said, it's, a, it's, it's, it's easy, to, easy to catch up to the car, but it's a different story trying to pass him. Try it again there. He has a good run. He actually really has a good run. Kyle Bush has, but again, doesn't sick. Here's Larson there now. Here comes Kyle Bush. So he can't do it. It looks like Trish has that good straightaway speed compared to these rest of these drivers here. That's what it really looks like. We I mean, don't just have to speed in the corners, but he has that good straightaway speed. That's maybe the reason why he's continuing being a race leader so far. He's still side by side now. This may be the thing. Uh, this may be the thing I was talking about. Here comes Tr uh, Kyle Busch. Can he clear tricks for turn three? Larson's looking. Looks well, he's gonna do it. Yeah, he's clear tricks for the race lead. Kyle Busch, the new race leader. But Larson is now looking. On the inside. So Kyle Busch is your second race leader of the race. Now Kyle Busch and Trucks are your current leader race leader so far. And now Mark Trucks has had a risk of moving down to third place now. And guess where the lap car is? He's up high. And Trucks is up high as well. So it may be a problem here once he gets to his corner, but maybe not. Lap car is moving back down to the bottom of the racetrack. Yeah, Trucks is just blocked in with that lap car. Here 
there he goes now. He almost, she's Elliot almost turned Truex, it looks like. There goes Keselowski now, looking inside of Larson now, looking for that second position. Oh no! Oh, around goes Larson! Into the wall! Oh no! Oh, watch out! Oh no! My god! Oh no! My goodness, Eric Jones, Harvick, Bubba Wallace, Trevor Bain, and we're still wrecking, it looks like. And the caution's out, and this has turned to a big one. As cars start to pit as well. Goodness gracious. It all started between Kislowski and I believe the in Larson. Wow. And a big change of events. Wow. Okay, so yeah, you got Trevor Bain, Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, Larson, and Kevin Harvick in the four car. Those are your drivers involved, and Kevin Harvick started second in this race. Mm. Luckily, we're very early in the season, I can tell you that right now. But anyway, here we go for pit stops for the rest of these drivers, but we were also coming in um, for pit stops here for, the, uh, for green flag pit stops. And this may actually trap some drivers to lap down, looks like. Yes, it does. So, the air was getting four tires right now. Looks like Kyle Busch will get it with Ricky Stanley Jr. in second. Kusashi third, Johnson fourth, and Dewey fifth. And let's see what happens. Alright, here's what happened to bring out the cautionary. Lars Chris Lars go for a very aggressive move. He gets into the 22 car of Larson and it ends up spinning him around. And Larson slams into the wall. I'm gonna be honest, I think Larson was trying to pit here. It was very slow. He was really slow, I can tell you that right now. I think he was trying to get on pit road, not just what that what that was just happened there. So he goes into the wall and he just goes right. And everyone went to the bottom, and then all of a sudden, Larson went to the bottom here. And, and unfortunately, it gets slams into Harvick. Trevor Bain gets into him. And then again, he keeps going to the bottom of the racetrack. Bubba slams into uh, to Larson once again. Larson goes flying. Eric Jones gets into Trevor Bain. And Mark Topps got a little piece of it as well. If we keep on playing it here, it looks like I know one of these drivers got a couple piece of it as well. Yeah, Bubble, uh, Matt DeBenedetta also got a piece. Looks like Paul Menard also got a piece as well. No considerable damage, it looks like, for the 21 car, but it does look like some visual damage there for the 21 car. Let's see this game. Let's see this wreck again unfolding. And I also, got, I also got to wonder if that two car also has some damage there as well. Johnson just missed this it. And then everything just went went there as well. Harvick, Bain. Yeah. Alright, one more angle. One more quickly, one more angle here and then we'll look at some onboards. Unfortunately, Ricky Stone Shin didn't get involved in there as well. There, he was very close to getting involved as well. So. And yeah, let's go. Let's look on Butterfly Two, Carl Larson. And just 
Actually, I'm just trying to get try to get ready to get into the pit road or try to get into the corner there. Uh, let's look at Kislowski's in on board and see what he saw. If I was look on the f uh, four car of hard right here and see what he saw. Because he's looking at a hard hit here. definitely committed. He was definitely committed to the bottom race track as we head back green once again. We have, looks like if we can get back here, Chase Elliott in the 9 car is your race leader, but look at this pack of field right now. So Chase Elliott is your race leader and he's pulling away now. He made it through with the lap car trying to hold him up a little bit. It's McMurray. And look at this. Look at this pack right now. There we go. McMurray's there as well. Uh, Truex falling back to sixth place, it looks like. And Kyle Busch now all the way back to ninth. There are currently 31 cars on the lead lap. A 92 car and a 66 car, your car's on, on lap down. And we got multiple cars here. Three! That was very close, but McMurray takes the race lean over Chase Elliott now. It goes hard to extreme in a 78 car as well. I hope this driver may even take a three wide for the race lead. He's there, he's looking. Here comes Truex now. Trying to look for the race lead once again. He falling back to six on the restart, but he's already back to the race lead, it looks like. Back to the race lead in 78 car Truex. With the help of the lap traffic here, he's, he's moving on, moving on long pass. These drivers will have to make one more pit stop on a fuel run. If they're just running for fuel, they have to make one more stop, but I doubt it because tires, you know, any tires on this racetrack, so. William Byron, the 24 car, one of those unfortunate that came on pit road before the, when the caution came out. And he's, he's back, uh, way back in the field, about to go a lap down here. He's running 27s right now. Her pushing in 41 car running in the back there as well. This is 18 Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush in 18 car was was a uh, was a leader before the caution came on. He's back in the the seventh position there right now. So it looks like Kyle Bush has a stronger run, much stronger run car with the addition of probably saving tires as well. We saw him just rock, rock it to the race lead there in a turn in the in about 10 laps there it looks like.
to a notable here. Uh, if you look outside the top 10 here, we got Ty. Di uh, let's see here. Looks like we got the 37th car. Oh, there we go. We got 37 car Chris Busher, uh, Brandon Gone. We got those two cars here. We don't usually see in the top 10. I'm mean, near the top 10, running to, near the top 10. So they're doing having some, they have some great runs so far this race there. Some people that I want to talk about there. Look at the action behind me. And look at this. Here comes Kyle Bush. 19 car. And you know he has that fast, that, that, that long run car. Bush and Hamlin, another car I'm looking to see here. This looks like Stanhouse Jr. there in the 17 car, but they move, they continue to move up to the front there. Hamlin and Bush. I bet you in no time they'll be up here here at near trucks. So I can tell you that right now. Looks like every single lap they're making up at least one position. It looks like. Chase Elliott now, now, now looking close there with uh, Mark Trick Stringer. Again, well, at least one more pit stop. Oh. We have a late race for you, so that's pretty much the main course. We had a main race for you like last season, which ended up having, uh, I believe, Newman winning the race there. I gotta check to make sure that as well. Just the, the, the percent of error is just so limited here at Lance More Speedo, just how rough the track is because if you get loose, if you have a problem, you're going to go back far, really far back. But yeah, last last season. As we look at last season, our, our race winner was uh, Ryan Newman, was second. Um, was second being uh, Kyle Busch. Just got to bake in order to make it the rest of the way. But what do you do? Do you make ties for your car? Do you? It's going to be really much of a stretch if you're in order to win this race. It's going to be pretty important. I can tell you that right now. Of 
Three wide for the race sleeve here. Uh, uh, for second, excuse me, with Elliot Hamlin and the lap car William Byron. I believe, uh, to be honest, I think Hamlin may use that lap, use William Byron the lap car to an advantage. And now looking to get past that, uh, the lap car and try to race uh, in, um, second away from um, William uh, but I know that uh, of course not gonna um Will Bart's not gonna let him have it because you do have the, the teammate Chase Elliott there with him. And I bet you when Bryce uh Point Bryce gonna try to help his teammate to, to get up to the front here. And even he'll have yeah, it's pretty much having like um teammates now working together it looks like. As when Bryce now uh Chase Elliott now looking to get second once again. As they continue to do it, this church just leads just gets farther and farther away. But now Hamlin has cleared, really not cleared. Uh, uh, Byron now up to second now. So now Hamlin's back up to second. Pit stops should, pit stops for the fall time should be coming soon. Field has really spread out. Since the uh, la since the our last run, I think our top ten runouts is already here. So first is Shrek, second is Danny Hamlin, third is Chase Elliott, fourth is Kyle Busch, fifth is Brad Keselowski, sixth is Austin Dillon, seventh is uh, Clint Boyer, eighth is Ricky Sounds Jr. Both of them are bound for seventh. Uh, ninth is Jim McMurray, and round top ten is Joey Logano. Eleventh uh, is Ryan Newman, twelfth is Brendan Gone, thirteenth is uh, David Reagan. I uh, excuse me, Mike McDowell. He's running very well too. He's running in 13th position. We got 14th Kurt Bush, and battling for 15th is uh, John Deere and Jimmy Johnson. And once we have, once we have a battle, shot battle here for second place between Hamlin and, and uh, Chase Elliott. I tell you, any of these drivers can win this race right now. I can tell you that right now. Just the way we we have seen this racing so far. I bet the only reason why William Byron is doing this right now is just to try to get his teammate up there, it looks like. <sighs> looks like Hannah picked the perfect time, well maybe not. Just always got it by lap cars right now. Three lap cars there right now. There goes Kyle Busch there too. Look at this mess right now. We got cars everywhere. As they head down for the final pit stop at the race. Trish may be race leader right now. So Trish will remain on the racetrack, but uh, Elliot and uh, Hamlet will go on pit road. As the looks like most of the field as well will do it as well, but Trish remains out out on the track. Now you're saying if they if they if he keeps running as as well, he's gonna have the fresh he's gonna have to have some fresh tires, but let's see what's gonna do here. Yeah, Tristan coming out here at road. What's your breath Kalski? Cause I'll see yep. Kyle Bush as well. Jimmy Johnson will do the same thing. Yeah, pretty much the rest of the field right now that then it came that one time by is coming now. Alright, this this is the money stop. I can, this is definitely the money stop. So you see trucks coming out except on carrot road. There comes Kyle uh, Trucks on off of Pit Road. Guess that's key there too.
Let's chase Elliot here off turn number two. I think Shirts may be good here, I think. Look at the speed difference, as you can tell, but... Yeah, it looks like tricks. Yeah, it looks like they're just. It looks like they're very, very evenly tied right now between those two cars. It looks like. I will say this make this as we had as we're now in ten laps to go. It looks like it's going to decide between Drex and Chase Elliott here for the race to win. I still battling out here for uh, third right now between Kostowski and Hamlin. Kostowski just got off pit road there. It made tough for for Hamlin to pass because I think Kislovsky has just has the newer tires to look, I think. It was by only one lap. It looks like Hamlin will clear Kislovsky. Back up front. Chase Elliott and Martrex Jr. Yeah, uh, Trix has the extremely slightly advantage on newer tires right now. But Chase Ellis catching up to him. But is there enough time, though? Does Kenny pass him? That's pretty much the main question. Chase Ellis has not passed Trix all day. He's had the opportunity, but it just hasn't caught up to him. Trex does, uh, Chase Elliott does have lap, lap cars to his, to his advantage right now. We also have Hamlin and the rest of his cars coming as well. But, it's not looking good for them if they want, they need a caution. They need a caution in the next, uh, lap or, or, lap or two. So I can't try and do it. Oh, still battling with that lap car of uh, DJ Kington, the 96 car. They're still tight though. They're still trying to get closer. They're all both of them battling lap traffic right now. Oh now we're in binder in 24 but it's going going inside Chase Elliott. Oh, this is exactly what Chase Elliott does not want it right now, but I think he's still going to be good to go, I think. Yeah. I think what Chase Elliott wants to do is pretty much like to push him, it looks like, I feel like right now, but... There should not be no more lap cars to, um, to, uh, to, uh, to finish, uh, to impact in this race right now. As this time by, what, four laps to go? As Drift continue to push away that slight tire finish is maybe working to him as the advantage. Drift was faster that lap. Yeah, he's, he's, getting, he's all over the back foot for Chase Elliott. He's trying to get that, 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 that run there for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, Chase Elliott did try to um just try trying to do it, try to use that package looks like trying to get like, get him up the front there. But like I say, it's this not working for him right now as we have two laps to go here at Island and speedway. Alright, this time bye. We have one lap to go here for Mark Trix Jr. Here at Atlanta Moore's B-Boy. What a run for Trix so far. He was the fastest car at the, tr at the race track for almost all time so this this is this, this race. He led he has led all laps here today. And he's looking forward to getting that check that gain that one here at Atlanta Speedway. Alpha 4. Same car Trix will have victory lane. The Foles 
of Honor Quick Trip 500 Atlanta Motor Speedway, Trix wins Atlanta. Truck staring the 78 car. He his gets his first win in our in the NASCAR Microsoft Cup Series for the season. I bet you it's, it's going to be many more to come for him as well. Looks like every finishing order here. So once again, uh, Mark Trix Jr. is your race winner. Second is Chase Elliott. Third is Denny Hamlin. Fourth is Brad Gustavski. Fifth is Kyle Busch. Sixth is Jerry Lagano. Seventh is Ricky Stanley Jr. Eighth is Ryan Newman. Ninth is Brandon Gone. How about top ten for him for Brandon Gone there? And tenth is Clint Boyer. 11th is Jimmy Johnson, 12th is Jimmy McMurray, 13th Paul Menard, 14th Chris Buescher, 15th Casey Kane, 16th Kurt Busch, 17th Michael McDowell, 18th Daniel Flores, 19th Adrian Omd, and around the top 20 is Casey Mears. 21st has Cole Witt, 22nd Ryan Blaney, 23rd uh, David Reagan, 24th William Byron, 25th DJ Kennington, 26th Timothy Hill, 27th Ty Dillon, 28th Eric Almola, 29th, Jeffrey Earnhardt, and around the top 30 is Cody Ware. Uh, 31st, David Gillen, uh, 32nd, Michael Thompson, are their last car on the race track. And let's see your final laps here, some notables here. Uh, very fortunate for Austin Dillon, so he has a puncher somewhere in his car, which led him to retire the race. He was running up, up the top 10 as well, so that's going to be very fortunate for the uh, three cars there. But let's hope they carry buying back as we head to uh, all of Las Vegas next week. Um, also some nobles, so you got Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, Kyle Larson, Harvick, Bain, and Bowman. Some, some, some big names so in that, in that, in that race. In, in the, yeah. So Trish, once again, is the race winner next week. will be at, uh, at Las Vegas, Las Vegas Speedway for, Las Vegas Speedway for the, uh, um, for the, uh, wait, <laughs> we'll be at Las Vegas here. Yeah. Las Vegas here, and uh, yeah, um, that's one thing for watching uh, this race here. It's been excellent to three. Once again, Trucks is your race winner, and we'll see y'all for the third race of the season at Las Vegas Speedway.